Well, you may be wanted by the FBI. Mm -hmm. If you are unfortunately one of the many out there who are out of work, that's because the FBI is hiring, and that's good news. Yeah, joining us now is FBI Unit Chief Richard Kolko and President of Stevens Institute of Technology, Hal Raveche, whose school is offering some new programs that might help as well. And, and uh, first, I want to start with you because uh, you know, I, I think about the, the, the kids that are in college right now. I, when I left college, there was a recession. Yes. And it's got to be very frustrating for those that are going to be leaving school in May and, and don't have any prospects. But we entered into this field because of the national importance of the field. So we started the first undergraduate degree in cybersecurity. We have many graduate programs in information insecurity, and we have research programs in this. So we got into it for, for different reasons, and now we're fortunate because our students are very quali well qualified. Well, Richard, uh, let's, let's be specific about the FBI. Why is the FBI hiring? Is it because of cases like Madoff? Is it because of terrorism? Is it because of the pirates? What is it? Uh, I'm sorry, we can't be quite that specific, but we, at least we're the ones that do have good news today. We actually are hiring. Mm -hmm. We're looking for more than 2,100 professional support employees and 850 agents this year. Yeah. What it has to do be with spe is mostly... Be specific if you can, though, Richard. If you can't talk, why? And I, we can certainly understand it. National security is at stake. Uh, but what kind of people, what kind of experience are you looking for? Well, in our professional support category, which is where we really have the big push these days, we are looking for everybody. It runs from auto mechanics to engineers. We're looking for attorneys, IT specialists, um, people with great computer backgrounds, people that want to be intelligence analysts, language specialists, and they can come in right out of college or second career or third career people. And if you look back, I bet even if you think back in your, when you were a younger, younger man, you probably thought about maybe even working for the FBI. There's a whole bunch of people How out there you know? that thought about that. <laughs> I, I did know. I, I talked to a lot of people, and everybody goes, gee, I wish oh, I'd done that. Oh, you, you, you looked up my FBI file. Go ahead. Let's, there you go. let's so, talk money, now everybody. No, uh, Richard, I want to know what it pays. What does it pay? What can I make? Some of our entry-level jobs are, are in the 30s, but some of the salaries go all the way up to $100,000 a year. That's not so bad. All right. Well... I think the, the real attraction for a young woman or man is the ability to serve their country and to put their knowledge to specific use in a priority area now to fight terrorism or to fight crime, whether it's uh, gangland crime, white collar crime, you know, what's going on on Wall Street, so they can have a great deal of satisfaction doing this, I, applying their skills. Richard, I'm interested in knowing whether people who might have retired, even if they retired early, uh, if you'd be interested in bringing them in. I imagine, you know, for the support staff, you're not looking for somebody who can run the 100 in, in 10 seconds. I mean, you could, you could deal with an older person, right? Absolutely. We're looking for young people, out of, uh, some out of high school, some out of college, second, third career, recent retirees. We're looking for a wide range of experience. The best way to do it, check on the jobs, just go to our webpage, FBI.gov, and these jobs are all listed there. Take a look, see if you have the credentials and the background, and, and submit an application. How, besides the FBI, yes. what other fields do you think that your students could find when Well, the whole field of cybersecurity, if we are to realize the business potential of the Internet, cybersecurity is the number one issue, hmm. right? And we can't discuss where the threats are coming from, but every day they're huge. So if we want to see the Internet applied to medicine, to the financial sector, to creating very sophisticated social networks, we have to make it secure, and it's not. Richard, financial crimes, of course, we've been dealing a lot of, uh, about uh, Madoff in the past couple of weeks. Uh, how much of interest does the FBI have in that? Or are they leaving that to other law enforcement agencies? No, the Madoff case is obviously an FBI case being investigated out of our New York division. And we, uh, the case, when you think it's being investigated, you think of special agents. But there's a large team of financial analysts, intelligence analysts, accountants that are working on this case hand-in-hand -hand with the special agents to make sure that this case is investigated completely. All right. Richard Kolko and Hal Ravache, I think I got it right this you time. You did. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it, guys. That, my French classes did not help me on your last name, <laughs> Hal, but thank you very much. Richard. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We've got some breaking thank news you. right now. Illinois Supreme Court, uh, they have denied Roland Burris's request to force Secretary of State there to sign the paperwork. That court ruled that the, the appointment is valid without white signature. So the U.S.